Hey guys, it's Kristen from Printable Cuttable Creatables. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload SVG files to the Cricut Design Space mobile app. For this tutorial, I'm using an iPad, but the steps are exactly the same for an iPhone, just on a smaller screen. When downloading SVG files from most websites, the files will download as a zip. So before you can upload the SVG to the Design Space, you first need to unzip the file. If you're using iOS 13 or newer, you can unzip files directly in the Files app. Just tap the zip file and a blue folder will appear above it. Tap the blue folder to see the files inside, including the SVG. If you need more help on how to do this, I have another video which shows how to download and unzip SVGs on iOS devices, as well as how to find where your downloads are being saved. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Once you have downloaded and unzipped your SVG files, you can open up the Cricut Design Space app. Make sure you are signed in and click New Project. In the row of icons at the bottom left, tap the Upload icon. In the pop-up menu that appears, tap Browse Files. Locate where you saved your SVG file. Make sure you are going into the blue folder to choose an SVG and not a zip file. You'll then be prompted to give the file a name. And it will appear in your uploaded images section. Tap the image to select it, then tap the insert button at the bottom right corner of the screen. The file will open on your canvas but notice that it looks very small. Tap and drag the resize arrow button at the bottom right corner of the design to make it bigger. By default, all elements of a design will come grouped together. To work with elements individually, tap Actions, then tap Ungroup. Now each group can be moved separately. You may need to tap on group again to separate the groups and be able to work with each shape individually. If you tap the layers icon, the layers panel will appear on the right side where it's easier to see the breakdown of groups and layers. Now you can make any changes needed to prepare the design for your project. I hope you have found this video helpful if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email or leave a question in the comments. 